everyone, it's Simply Deck Designs here. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Duck Brand Dry Erase Tape, and this is actually a collab video with the lovely Alyssa. Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa, and I have a DIY and craft channel here on YouTube. In my video, I'm doing a review on all six of the Duck Brand scented duct tapes, so I hope you guys like my channel, and if you would like to subscribe, that would be really awesome, and my video will be linked below. So I hope you guys like Rachel's video, I know it's going to be amazing. If you're coming from my channel, then definitely subscribe to Rachel. As she said, her video will be linked down in the description below, so you definitely want to make sure to check that out. Also, if you guys have come from Alyssa's channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys will enjoy the videos that I do here. And if you guys haven't already, please take the time to subscribe to both of us. Alyssa is a very talented and lovely girl, so you definitely want to check her out if you haven't. She has a lot more subscribers than I do, so I really appreciate her taking the time to collab with me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see, this is what the dry erase tape looks like in the packaging. The packaging is very sleek and shiny, and on the side here it shows someone like, you know, doodling on the tape, and then they have an eraser here. I actually do not have an eraser like that, so we're just going to use a wet paper towel and see how that goes. So I'm just going to open this up. So the packaging, just like most Duck Brand tapes, is super easy to get open. You don't even really need a pair of scissors or anything like that. As you can see on the back, there is a backing that says Duck Brand and just some you know, little information about the company. So unlike duct tape, this does have a paper backing. So we're just going to cut off a strip real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off a piece here. So it cut very easily because the backing is paper. So now we're going to see how easily this peels off. Okay, so that came off really, really easy. So this is what the dry erase tape looks by itself. This is the sticky side. So I'm going to try to actually cut this tape with the Duck Brand nonstick scissors and just a pair of regular scissors. And I'm actually really impressed. They cut pretty well with regular scissors too. And as I said, these are just regular scissors. They don't have the non-stick coating and we pretty much got the same result with each pair of scissors. So here I just have a plain notebook and I'm going to test putting the tape onto the notebook and we're going to try to see if we can take it back off. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to place it right on here. Now I'm just taking a plain chalk slash dry erase marker and I'm just going to go ahead and test out how it writes on the dry erase tape before we try to take it back off the notebook. Okay, so we're just going to test this out. Okay, looking pretty nice. So this looks really good. I'm not like shocked by the results because I have used this tape I think once in the past, but I am still kind of surprised because I haven't used these markers in a little while and I wasn't sure if they would still work well together and they obviously did. So now I'm going to try to take this back off the notebook. Oh wow, okay. This is coming right off. Okay, so I am super impressed by that. That came right off the notebook. There aren't any spots where adhesive stuck to the notebook cover. It just came off so cleanly. So this would be perfect for school if you guys wanted to take like a notebook and then put a little dry erase label. And if you guys decide you didn't want any more, you can take it right off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this right back on. And I'm touching this up a bit. Oh, I made it worse. But now I'm going to go quickly get a wet and dry paper towel and see how easily this comes off of the tape. Okay, so here I have a partially dry paper towel and a wet paper towel. So I'm going to start off with the wet one. And we're going to try to get as much off of this as we can. Okay, so it's kind of just smudging around, but I can tell it's coming off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use a different part of the paper towel. So it is fading, so it is coming off, I think. Oh yeah, it's getting a lot better. And just go right across. And it came pretty much right off. 
So I would say this tape is quite the success. It works very, very well, and I was quite impressed testing out the different things that it could do. But I honestly don't really have any cons other than the fact that it can be a little more expensive than duct tape, but that is also because it's not duct tape. It's a specialty tape, so they obviously need to raise the price a little bit for those. So that would probably be the only con. The pros are it wipes off easily, it's really easy to write on, it comes off surfaces very cleanly, and it cuts easily. So I have a lot of good things to say about this tape. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Once again, if you're from Alyssa's channel, welcome. Also, if you guys want, you can click the links down in the description below. That will take you to all of my social media accounts, like Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, everything's down there. Once again, thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys.